Terence Hayes, another great ravager of the crops, was the boll weevil. By mid-1921, the boll weevil had entered South Carolina. In a 1939 interview for the Federal Writers Project, South Carolina native Mose Austin recalled that his employer was adamant he don't want nothing but cotton planted on the place, that he dept and after raised cotton to get more money to pay with. Austin let out a long guffaw before recounting, the boll weevil come and bless your life, that bug shall romp things that fall, quote unquote. Right now, when I should be considering the tracks of black folk slanting and fast drying tempera, I am picturing a brood of boll weevils migrating to the U.S. in bales of Mexican cotton, or maybe the bowels of the great Galveston hurricane, or the ears of four apocalypse horses, or maybe hidden somewhere on an industrious industrial train traveling from one corner of the South to another around the time sharecroppers and other restless black folk figured it was time to head North. You can probably hear me humming Lead Belly's Bow Weevil Blues. <laughs> Sometimes an image leads to a tune. The boll weevils Jacob Lawrence painted are little more than silhouettes, but a southern landowner would have recognized them as symbols of bad luck, bold evil, the money eaters. The boll weevil's scientific name, Autonomous Grandis, sounds like Grand Anonymous, which is as good a name as any for a force that sows trouble wherever it roams. Just a looking for a home, just a looking for a home, is a common refrain in a dozen or so different boll weevil songs. They cross the cotton belt, ravaging about 60 miles a year, and reach the Carolinas long before I was born. But I wouldn't know them from the raspberry weevils or apple blossom weevils or the weevils that share my appetite for corn. I have never talked with a boll weevil, but when I hear crickets cricketing, I know insects and creatures like us basically ponder the same things. Solace, survival, multiple genres of longing. I remember how seeing a white woman walking alone a few steps ahead of me late one night spooked me so much I slowed and cast a harmless warble into evening. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, even at a distance, I know what unsettles this country can also unsettle me. Sometimes fear tells us exactly where we are heading. 